Happy Mermaid, everyone! This is the first time I've participated in the hashtag Mermaid Art Challenge. So I've learned that each day in May, there's a different prompt for a drawing for a mermaid. And I think that's kind of a cool challenge and i um, excited to participate. This particular mermaid has been drawn by Valerie over at Art a la Carte. And she actually drew this on one of her videos during quarantine and provided it as kind of a nice way to thank her patrons and um, give everyone at home something to color while they were quarantined. So the medium that I'm using today is new to me. I inherited this box of paints called gouache paint and I hadn't heard of it before but I'm really liking how it goes down. I'm just beginning to learn how to use gouache paint, but it seems to take on some of the advantages of both watercolor and acrylic paint. For example, with watercolor, you can put down a layer of water or a wash first and then go over with your pigment, kind of like what I'm doing here with her green skin. I put down a layer of clear water and then I paint over it with the pigment. So that is very similar to watercolor paint. Another similarity is being able to reactivate the paint even after it has dried. So by using water or using additional paint on top of the dried paint, you can rework your color or fix errors or streak marks like I did at the very beginning. Um, there were some blue streak marks when I first started this painting. Um, I was able to rework those and add some more color, add some more blues, and um, blend that in. Ideally, on a project like this, you would want to use watercolor paper, which is going to be a lot more stiff and hold up a lot better. It won't buckle like normal paper will. But I didn't have any in this situation, and this ended up working fairly okay. I didn't use an abundance of water, and I did have my picture taped down. Um, so in the circumstances of being under quarantine, this worked for me. Some of the benefits of gouache paint are the fast drying quality which is a great asset when you're working in a small area on a quick project and wanna get things done. Um, also, I really liked the bold, bright colors I was able to achieve. It really gave me that tropical fantasy feel. My set of gouache paints have 12 different colors in it, but I would say I only used around six to eight different tubes of color. Um, by mixing colors, I was able to achieve a lot of different shades and different tones. In order to get this black color that I'm using here on this fish, I mixed burnt umber, dark blue, and red together because I didn't want to use a true black. When thinking about the colors to use in this painting, I loosely based it off of a split complementary color scheme. So if you're familiar with the color wheel, the complementary colors are gonna be directly across the wheel from each other. With the split complementary color scheme, you use one primary color, go across the color wheel to find the complement, but you use the two colors that are next to the complement, one to the left and one to the right. Learning how to use these gouache paints has been really fun and I think I'm going to have to check out a new set and get some fresh ones so I can feel what they're really like and get the hang of them. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit me up with a comment in the section below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys! Happy Mermaid!